Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how we do a quick fix on S19 boards. S19J, S19K, S19J Pro Plus, J Pro, pick, no pick, all that stuff. And we're going to be talking about how we provide a quick fix for our clients here at our farm. What I mean by that is that when you get like an ASIC, cannot find all ASIC error, or you get, can only find, let's say, 10 ASICs or 5 ASICs, or you get a pick error, whatever it is, what we do in those situations versus what other farms do, other hosting farms do, we're going to talk about how we save our clients money by doing a quick fix that has a good chance, it's about 50 50, of having the board come back online and start mining right away without any issues. So we're going to be talking about that. So if you think that's interesting, hit like on the video, subscribe to the channel, go to CryptoLLC.org. If you're looking to buy A6, if you're looking to host with us, if you're looking to uh, build a farm, doing any of those things, go to our site, CryptoLLC. You can see this farm here. It's right behind me. We're adding more miners. Still got these cords here, Ethernet. Um, but we're concentrating on launching the miners, fixing any issues of ethernet or, or pdus or whatever so we're, we're focusing on that so you can see we have some some ports hanging around but we'll clean that up once this once this place is ready to go here and once it's uh, fully fully uh uh jam-packed you can see we have some space here available for more um more miners but anyway so here's a scenario what happens when you host with a farm out there and uh, they give you the standard 7.5 cents, maybe sometimes even give you eight cents hosting. And the miner is showing an error, right? The miner is showing uh, board number three, we have a zero A6 detected. So they do a quick reboot. The error is still there, board number three, zero A6. In those situations, those mining farms will take out board number three and just say, oh, well, well, it broke. So we're just gonna send it off for repairs. We don't care about the fact that maybe it has a small uh, glitch, maybe it has a piece of metal that's stuck between, let me focus on that, between some of these leg connectors here, maybe it has um, you know, some garbage all over this pick processor here, this one right there. Actually, let me point to it, it looks like that. Yeah, right. That pick processor, maybe it has the LDO problems, Whatever it is, um, again, it could be caused by dust, could be caused by garbage, it could be caused by just needing a cleaning. So what we do at our farm at Crypto LLC is when we get those errors, right? We take out the hash board. We use rubbing alcohol. See this one here? We use rubbing alcohol. This is a quick fix, by the way, and we do not charge our clients for this. This is free. We do this for free. We take out rubbing alcohol, we use a toothbrush. We then spray the hash board with the rubbing alcohol. We use a toothbrush to just quickly run by the, these chips, these capacitors, these chips, voltage controllers, voltage regulators. We run it here on this side, all the way. And then we run it here on this side, all the way. Then we flip over the board. We do the same thing over here. We have some temperature sensors and some more chips on the, on, the, on the sides here. We run toothbrush here with the rubbing alcohol as well as toothbrush on these chips over here and over here and down here. Then we use an air compressor and we blow away all the dust, all the garbage, everything. And again, what could happen is you can have a piece of metal glitching out one of these little capacitors or one of these little resistors or one of these chips. You can have a piece of metal stuck and it's causing a little short and that's what could be causing the zero ASIC detected. On top of that, you have thermal compound that is located beneath these two heat sinks. So if you unscrew these screws, this heat sink comes off. There's thermal compound there for each chip. I think this is a S19 Pro. Um, if it is, it's, it has 114 chips. Otherwise, if it's a J Pro, it has 126 chips. And if it has a thermal compound is not sitting on properly, that could also cause a glitch between the, uh, I think it's five or six signals that goes between the chips. It could cause an error there. 
So what we do for these boards is we also tighten any of these screws right, that are loose. We tighten them. So we go through all the screws, we tighten them all, and then we plug the board back in. A lot of time, the board goes back to working, you know, without any issues, and there you go. We just saved our client a ton of money because not only are they losing money by shipping this board out for repairs, as soon as I unplug it, their miner is producing one-third less the hash rate. So they're losing money by not mining. That's one loss right there, not mining. The board is not mining. You're losing money on that. On top of that, it's gonna be losing money for the next about three weeks, because once it goes for repairs, it comes back, it's about three weeks, even a month. So you're losing money right there. Also, you're gonna pay for the repairs. The repair shops charge, uh, you know, it depends what, what issues it has, if it, if it has an ASIC, uh, like one of the chips actually needs to be uh, resoldered on. Uh, maybe it has a capacitor that's dead, or a voltage regulator, or a pick that needs to be programmed, or an EEPROM problem. Uh, depending what's happening, what's going on, it could be like two hundred dollars for a repair for a hash board. That's not including the shipping and all that other stuff. So by doing this quick fix, we can save our clients a great amount of money, uh, as they would not lose any of that. They would save all of that. So that's what we do at Crypto LLC. And again, fixing hash boards uh, at our fa our farm here at this local farm, we do that for free. It's a quick fix. We try it out. If it still has issues after we tried all of this, right, it still has those issues, then at that point we unplug the board and we send it off for repairs. But otherwise, if everything's fine, and it mines just fine, we send it off, I mean, we plug it back in and it's mining away, no issues, right? So that's what we do. So that's one of the benefits of hosting with us at Crypto LLC, is not only are you going to get, not only are you going to get a great place to host, it's these three containers, you're gonna get a dedicated air filtration system, which a lot of farms do not provide. They don't even, they don't even tell their clients they have one, um, or they just tell them, but it's not really true. They don't have an air filtration system because they don't care a lot of times. We care about our clients here, so we have this nice polyester blue filtration system that filters out bugs and, 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 and small flies. Even those tiny little, little gnats or whatever they're called, those tiny little flies, they can't get through this. It's not gonna go through. So we take care of it that way. And then on top of that, if the hash board has an issue, we unplug it, we do a quick quick fix on it and see if that helps. If it doesn't, then we send it off for repairs. And that, we do that all for free for our clients, right? The hash board quick fix is free. We do not charge them, our clients for that. A lot of mining farms out there, they charge, every single time they touch your miner, they charge you for it, right? It has an issue, they charge you for it. For it. A fan went down, they charge you for the replacement. We don't do that here. If a fan dies on your miner, we do not charge you to fix that fan. We do it for free. We take, we replace the fan, plug another one in. If a control board goes bad, we do not charge you to replace the control board. You pay for the control board, obviously, or for the repairs, but we do not charge you for, for replacing it. We do not charge you for the actual labor of taking out the old control board and plugging in a new control board. That is free. Um, so, very good benefits here at Crypto LLC. So, if you want to host with us, you want to host at one of our other farms, uh, we have uh, availability hosting in, on the east side of the United States. We have 10 megawatts available down there. So, if you want to host like one, two, three megawatts, maybe half a megawatt, whatever you're looking for, we have that available down there. Now, this farm here is in low power mode. Basically, almost everything is in low power mode. So, we have very, very little space um, or actual energy left here. Um, maybe a hundred miners maximum and we're already kind of working with a client that's going to be hosting with us that last hundred but you know if you want to jump in and and go with us and sign up the contract with us and host your own before they sign then then you will get it for yourself but otherwise it's basically all full well that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys like it until next time goodbye